everyone, it's me, Excavator Dozos. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos every single day. And today's video, it's one of my favorite ones to film. I love these. Today we're going to be doing a Zen Market haul. So everything in these two boxes was purchased from Japan using my favorite proxy Zen Market, who I am an affiliate with. Um, I'm not being paid to make this video, but if you guys use my links that are in the description, it does benefit me. About 10% of the stuff in here was at least partially supplemented by affiliate credit. So thank you so much for using my links. Anyways, um, let's get into these boxes. I kind of went overboard. So there's two boxes this time. I've formed my package or whatever, because the way this works is that you can purchase stuff from all over the place and they'll consolidate it within a certain amount of time. And then you can load it into boxes. And generally I know like how many things will fit in a certain box. So I, uh, prepared this with that in mind, but it seems that I underestimated because they needed to split it into two boxes, which is pretty funny. <laughs> um, so yeah. And considering this arrived in, like, since the moment that I paid for shipping, it was already in my state within 24 hours. I know that that's a time zone thing. Like, it was more than 24 hours elapsed time, but it's pretty cool. And also the amount of stuff that's in here, I'd say it was worth it. Okay, there's a lot to go over today. <laughs> Um, so let's just get, oh, look right here. There's already a doll right, right there. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. So there is, there's quite a few dolls. There's a lot of anime stuff. Um, I'm going to separate the like love live stuff and just show all that in its own section. Um, because I know most of you guys are here for the dolls, but I bought a lot of like weird love live stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what a lot of this stuff is. So let me start moving stuff. Oh, I did buy something for you, Brett. Okay. So this is really cool because it's from Pokemon's third generation, which was peak when I was a kid, Pokemon era. Um, and I thought the artwork was really cool on here, specifically the Rayquaza. And there's just a lot of art you don't really see on US merch. And also the Deoxys forms were on it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, here you go. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hit him. Okay, anyway, moving on. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is for Brett too. Look at this. <laughs> this is like Christmas. Well, ha, literally here. Um, it's all stuff that I purchased, but it's so satisfying to receive it all. Isn't this delightful? I paid $20 for this. It uh, Okay, so I was searching for stuff from like certain eras of like Japanese history. So like, <laughs> because I was looking for like vintage dolls from certain periods. And this came up when I searched for dolls from, I don't remember which one. And I was so titillated by it, um, but it was like really expensive. And then I found another one for sale for 20 bucks and I was so happy. Anyway, so this was made in 1998 by Tomy and it's slow bro, but wait, is he slow bro? I imagine he is, but he has a full tail. Like, I guess it could just be a slow poke. Um, but no, the, the bow is dry rotting. It's okay, we'll get it a new one. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I had to have this. I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, look at this. It's also very solid. Anyway, um, we don't have a Christmas tree and we don't decorate for Christmas, but this is going to be our Christmas decor. And this was kind of for Brett too, so I hope you like it. <laughs> anyway, um, there's so much stuff in here. Woohoo! Okay, I don't even know what this is. Ah, I bought some doll furniture, so it looks like we're here. Okay, back to doll related stuff. I'm gonna move the box. I feel like this is strange for you guys. I'll be right back. Hi, my friends, I'm back. So I moved the box and also, the Likachan furniture that we got, I have put it together. It's so, so, so cute. Okay, so there's this loft bed with like built-in shelves. It doesn't stay together super nicely, so I'm gonna put some like poster putty or something, but this is glorious. I love it, I love it. The lighting doesn't love it though. I love it, this is cool. Um, I'm really excited about this. I and mean, then it even has like a little hanger area. I want this for me. It's so, so cute. So I'm gonna need to find a good bedspread for it. I really like Lika furniture. I don't have a whole lot of it. I've been trying to find it, but the, the older stuff goes for a lot of money. And then the newer stuff, I wanna buy it in lots, but also if I get stuff that I don't super want, like last time I got, I think they were, it was a staircase that transforms into a slide. I'm not gonna use that. I don't want it, but it was huge. And now I'm stuck with it. And the shipping was really expensive because of that giant box. Um, anyway, so here we have, it honestly looks like a baby changing table, but it's just a vanity that can transform into a desk, which is pretty cute. And it even has the little drawers, which is awesome. And then it also has a chair. I love this. I love this. I'm about to start putting together my dollhouses. Like there's going to be a video series of like doing some interior design of my dollhouses. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then um, Lika 
hangers, but I'm very picky with my dollhouse furniture, so it might be a while before that actually starts. But anyway, look at the little hangers. And then we have this little thingy from Ikea, but it's totally, oh, cute, you can turn it around and get different bins. Yeah, um, I mean, could be based off of the Ikea one, I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is really cute, super, super cute. So that is an awesome bed set, furniture set. I have no idea, I just searched Rika, or Lika furniture, so I will provide you guys with that search term in the description if you guys are interested. Because the hardest part about shopping online in other countries is finding the search terms because I don't know Japanese. Like, I don't. I know certain words just from searching them so much. Um, but I, yeah. So I've had to, like, really sit down and research and figure these out. A lot of them are not what you would expect them to be. So you really have to do some work. Like, sometimes the word for doll is not what you think it is because it's another one because they have, like, three different words that they'll use in specific situations. So some doll brands, most people will not use doru, which is the one that, mo like, most doll listings do. It is so complicated. So I'll provide you with the <laughs> with the uh, search terms that will be most useful to you. All right, next. I'm so excited about this. So um, I don't remember when this was. It was like a, quite a few. I think it was when I first moved here, actually. So about a year ago, I bought this lot of Precure stuff. It was these Precure acrylic stands that I paid a lot of money for, actually, because I really wanted them. And I was so confused because I was like, the acrylic stands are cool, but why are people bidding this random lot of junk? Because that's what they call it, junk, up to like $150. Like, what's going on? It turns out that there were a bunch of minifigures in there that were like candy figures that were still sealed in box from Twin Princesses of the Mysterious Star. I've been gaslighting myself. Is it Wonderful Star? I don't remember. But anyway, it's a show called Fushigi. It's, it's, it's really good. And I watched the show. It's funny that I can't even recall the title right now. Um, it's a really good show, actually, and I really like it. So, um... That was why that lot was so expensive, because merch from the show is really hard to find. Anyway, so I've been trying to find the dolls, because there's dolls. And it was it was tough, but I found this one. So this is Rain. Um, I'm not sure which one's rarer or what. And normally they're in twos, but I'm telling you, out of box, these dolls will sell for like $200. It is ridiculous. I actually missed a fine recently, and I'm pretty mad about it. But anyway, um, here she is. I'm actually shocked. She's like a plush body. Her arms are half plush. And then they've like sewn plastic arms. Like, look how weird that is. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of disappointing, but it's okay. Anyway, there's also an Italian doll line for these that I really, really want to try to get. Um, they're actually pretty affordable, but the shipping is really expensive. But I was really excited to find her because these are pretty hard to find. And she has most of her stuff. I think she's supposed to have a tiara in addition to this, but it's fine. She was, I think, third. No, I think like 20 bucks. I think I paid like 20 bucks for her, and I am happy with that. She is very, very cute. But this explains a lot of why they are never missing stuff, because you physically cannot remove the clothing, so that's good to know. Uh, but anyway, super, super cute. Really excited to have her. And now that I like the show, all of my little candy figures that I have for the show are like up on display, uh, and now she can go on display with them. So very, very excited. And she can sleep in this um, Mika bed now. Cool. Okay next up okay <laughs> this is a present for my friend but i'll show it to you uh this is actually kind of funny because i was going to buy this from like yahoo shopping or whatever but i think i had taken it i thought i had taken this doll out of my cart because it was i don't know like 30 bucks and i usually like formulate my cart around certain things and i decided i wanted to buy an auction instead or something like that so i thought i had taken this out of my cart i thought wrong i had bought it and then i actually bought another of this doll later so you'll find her again but anyway this is the lika minion collab doll and um, i saw this on my friend i i figured my friend dean had actually already had this doll um but then i saw them post it on their um like wish list on twitter and i was like oh you don't Okay, I got you. So I accidentally bought two. So enjoy. Um, but she's actually really cute. Like, this is a really cute doll. So um, I have one new in box and one out of box. So we'll we'll find the other one soon. The the people at Zed Market, they're back in my box. They're like, this is, what? It, she just really into minions or something? Okay, we have a lot of Love Life stuff. Um, which again, we are moving it out of the way for now. <laughs> it's funny because I actually didn't buy that many Love Live lots. I think I bought like three total love live listings like separately but um they were all huge so yeah i got a lot of really exciting stuff oh my god i'm so excited about this so if you guys where is it is it nearby here no if you guys watched my entertainment earth haul i bought this really really cute barbie pet set and i found a very similar set from japan so i'm gonna do a video opening both and like comparing them and i think it's gonna be really cool and oh my god they're flocked they're flocked they're flocked they're flocked they're flocked this one one <laughs> okay 
So I've been really wanting a doll sized cat tree, but they're never particularly large. I was hoping this was bigger. It's fine though. Oh my God, this is so cute. So it's a Lego Lake cat play set. I don't know, but look, it comes with cat food. It comes with the cats. It comes with this like cat tree. What What is that? Like, I actually do not know what that is. Um, and there's even like a little toy for the cats. I think something fell. I hope it's still in there. Look, there's like a fish spot that's not filled because the blister is like coming up, but it's fine. I'm so excited. This kind of is a blister. I feel like blisters are usually glued down and this is like just wrapped. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really excited about this. Zero idea when this came out, but I paid five bucks for it, brand new in box. And if I can find like the name of this and a direct listing to it, I'll put a link in the description in case you guys are interested because I love this. I'm so excited. Okay. Beautiful little cat tower play set for Lika dolls. Okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't know about this. <laughs> Brett, we got a Katori mouse. I didn't see this in the pictures. Cool. We'll get to Love Live, guys. Shh, don't look. Erase that from your memory. There's a lot of Love Live stuff in here. Okay. This is from Rilu Rilu Fairlu, which is a like Sanrio fairy thing that I don't understand how I didn't discover it sooner. I knew like vaguely of it, but for some reason I hadn't explored it. I think it's because I subconsciously will avoid things that I know I'm going to like if I know that they're going to have merchandise that's hard for me to get. Uh, that's why I haven't invested fully into Witch, like watching all of Witch, because that's going to be rough for me when it when it comes. Anyway, this is a Toys R Us, ex well, I don't know if the set is exclusive, but this is the Toys R Us exclusive version because there's an extra little friend in here and I do not know the Faraloo names because again I'm trying to keep myself back so that I don't try to purchase them all immediately because a lot of them are pretty hard to find but this this is a work of art so this one when I bought this I I paid 15 or 17 dollars for this so it's this full really really cute place that's gonna look awesome on display and I love this in market put this bubble wrap inside thank you to them for that that is awesome there's an exclusive, a Toys R Us exclusive doll that is exclusive to this set. And unfortunately, she is missing, I think, her necklace and her top, but she she's pretty hard to find. Like, it was pretty hard to find listings with her. I found one that had already sold that had her complete that I was pretty mad about. Um, she does have polypropylene hair, too. I'm gonna have to fix that. A little mermaid fairy! There's a mermaid fairy, and they only made one doll, and she's exclusive to this set. They also had, oh, I did some research. They also had a, like, giveaway. So, originally, I was searching for this doll, and I couldn't really find information about her, and I found an ad for a giveaway where, like, there was this specific way to get her, and I was like, no way, that's just on Mercari Japan for, like, $15. What's going on? And then I looked further, and I found the new in-box playset that said Toys R Us, so. It's a Toys R Us exclusive with her, but you could also, like, win her in a giveaway of some sort, but anyway. She's so, so cute. So I'm gonna have to make her a little top or something, but I just had to have her. And I also was already shopping for the playset. So when I found out that I could also get the doll for super cheap, I was in. And there's, there's like, I think I'm missing some of the accessories because I think it came with extra outfits and stuff, but I don't super care. I just wanted the playset to be a little display piece because these dolls are a very, oh, I do have the extra clothing. Yay. I know it's missing some stuff, but yeah, I have the extra clothes and there's like little tea set and then... This is a little hairbrush. It's like really, really cute. This is so much fun. So Sanrio, so, so cute. I love this, I love this. Um, yeah, I, I really wanted it. Got the extra character, very, very happy. It's gonna make my display super cool. Cause, oh, I think where I was going with that was like, these dolls are very, you know, I don't have a lot of dolls in this size and I want these to be displayed with like my other anime dolls, but I don't have other ones in this size. So they'll look really out of place wherever I put them. So I think it's going to be really nice to have their own little dedicated world on display because I have two of them right now and I <laughs> two and I bought the playset already. Um, I have two of them, but they're going to look so cute in their little playset. It'll just help make the universe. I don't know. I don't know how to like the concept of the set I'm trying to build. Um, I don't know how to communicate that to you properly. Okay. There's so much Love Live stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the exception because this is a Love Live doll. Okay, so you guys know I have every single Pure Nemo Love Live doll. That was a journey and I completed it, but I'm still always looking <laughs> because uh, there's some that came with second outfits where I only have one of the outfits, so I'm trying to get them. But anyway, this, I don't know if this is custom made or if this is something that um, was sold as like limited by some company. I have no idea, but this is Katori and her, why am I blanking on the name of this outfit? They, they wore this outfit or something similar for the birthday figures, I know that, but this is a customized Katori Pure Nemo doll from Love Live, um, Squaddle Project, and she's wearing this outfit. Look how cute this is! 
So I've seen some Love Live like doll clothing that's specifically for like Dolphy Dreams that are made by like cherry milk and stuff. This to me, I think this really was just a custom made doll outfit. The seller had some other doll stuff, but not really other like sewn stuff that I recall. I don't know, but I saw this and I paid $30 by the way. The doll alone retailed for a hundred or more. It may be 90, I don't remember, USD. And I got her with a custom outfit for $30. She even has like special shoes that she didn't originally come with. They painted her hands. Like this is, divine i'm so excited about this one i really wish that they had made the rest of them because i would have bought them all on the spot no matter what the price was um but she's so cute i'm so happy with her um this was a score this was a major major score and this was from mercari japan as well i got a lot on mercari japan this time because i used to not shop mercari japan much even though it had the best deals because zen market didn't used to be able to purchase stuff off of mercari japan and i didn't like the proxy that used to work with mercari japan uh, exclusively so it was just kind of like but zen market can do mercari japan stuff now so i am invested i am all over that okay another doll <laughs> i explained the situation earlier but this is our second minions like a doll oh it's she doesn't come with all of her extra stuff so yeah i guess it worked out i didn't realize she had come with like the plushy and stuff like when she was in the box because i bought her as a present for my friend um so that's cool um wow, she even still has her little plastic thing around her hair to keep it in place um but yeah so now my friend has one to either display or unbox um with the extra accessories and then this one man this doll has soft hair really really cute and i paid 13 dollars for this one i paid 30 or 40 for this one yay i have two i don't they're leaving but <laughs> i hope i hope he likes those okay now i oh another doll it seems like they've sort okay so if you guys watched some of my previous Japan hauls, I think it was this, like, not the last one, but the one before that, I became really fascinated by Harajuku Girls School, which was a, like, I think it was Lika Chan, but it was, it was made by the same company regardless, but it, it's a doll, like, little subset that they made, Takara Tomi made, so the same people that make Lika Chan, and they're basically just Lika dolls, if they're not, I don't think they're explicitly listed as Lika, though, because they were trying to do some kind of spinoff, I don't know, but it's this idol, I think they had a phone game or something, it's this idol-themed um, set of dolls, and yeah, I found like all of them, so I bought them all, and I'm really excited. These are somewhat difficult to find, but I managed to find some new in box, which I think I bought one of the new in box ones, but I might have replaced it with one of the out of box ones because I'm just gonna unbox them, like it doesn't matter. Um, but I also got a lot of these that had a bunch of the extra clothes too, so I'm pretty excited. So anyway, I only had one fashion pack before, and now I have a bunch of stuff. So look at it. So these have like different screenings than the other ones. Also, when I get the rest of these out, I will turn the camera around and show you all these dolls up close so you can actually see their faces. Because I know when I do that, it washes them out. But anyway, so, so cute. And then these are her accessories. So each one ha is like, I don't know, there's some AR thing, I think, like augmented reality thing on phones. So you can take the little headband and each playset comes with, it's a headset, but each playset comes with some kind of attachment that I think does something in a phone app. I have no idea. Um, I just like the dolls and I think the theming is really cool and I remember one of them the seller was going to cancel on me which um the reasoning was like I can't find her microphone I don't I'm still paying full price I don't care like please ship her to me so I, I appreciate that they actually reached out and asked because I would have been really um heartbroken if I wasn't able to get the doll because of that um because I specifically bought these ones um but yeah Zen Market does like they're really cool about that where it's like hey the seller is saying like they can't find something do you want to cancel it I was like no I want it and they were like okay so yay okay next I think this is probably another Harajuku girl school doll but I can't tell right now hmm, I think so I think I see the headset yes okay so my hair got stuck in the tape this one ah, so this one has kind of the it's really pretty hair color but this one has the purple hair there's some really cute ones I think I got one of each character there's like three characters and then they're specifically marketing that you need to buy 100 fashion packs I think was the idea uh, but look how cute, look how cute. So, ah, she's super, super cute. And I'll link the uh, review I did in the description because these probably won't be getting a review because they're all out of box. So I don't really have a whole lot to say and I'm showing you them here. But I'll link the review in the description where I show off the outfit that I unboxed and reviewed because it's so cute. And I'm excited to put it on one of these dolls potentially. Uh, but you can see the little headset. And yeah, so there's the fashion pack that I had bought came with one of these so the idea is that you can put that onto the headset of whichever character 
that you've got. I think this is the one that she didn't come with like a microphone or something. I didn't care. She's got her little hair clip. She's super, super cute. And this stuff was for the other character. Okay. Precious. Absolutely precious. I messed up her hair with the headset. I don't know. The faces on these are really, really, really cute. So I'm really excited to show them to you in a second. Okay. I'm just going to get all of the little dolls that are sitting right here out of here. So I think that's three dolls that were sitting there. This doll, I'm so excited because finally I got her. This is Cure Fontaine. Um, there's a few Precure style dolls that are inexplicably extremely expensive, and I managed to get most of them, but Cure Etoile and Cure Fontaine have been evading me, so those were the last two that I needed. I managed to get one of them. I'm still missing a Etoile. I don't get it. I do not know why she's so hard to find, specifically her, and it doesn't even seem like she's that popular of a character, so... I don't know. Well, I never seen anybody posting about her anyway. But this one is one of my favorite, like, character designs specifically. I think this one's just really pretty for whatever reason. I really like her, like, theme color and everything. They wrapped her really good, so I'm having trouble getting her out. <laughs> uh, but I'm so excited to have her. And, oh my god, she's so cute. So, she was, like, collector-owned, like, the description said all that, and I paid $15 for her. For some reason, she goes for, like, 40 plus, which isn't really that bad of a price considering she's been discontinued and, like, if I'm getting her new in box, that's a fair deal, but I'm hunting for bargains. Most of my budget goes to shipping. No, not most. The shipping on this was like 20% of what I paid, so yeah. Anyway, so, so cute. So she's missing, I think, I'm pretty sure the Healing Good Ones came with some kind of transformation item, but she's missing that. Personally, I do not care. Uh, but yay, now I have all of the Healing Good Ones, finally. Finally. I don't understand why it took so long for me to get them all. Um, but yeah, so I'm missing one more Precure Style doll other than the newest ones, and I will have them all. Well, modern Precure Style doll. I'm missing some of the older ones, but... Yay! Yay! Wait. I don't think I'm missing any of the older ones. Sorry, they're not style dolls, but I am missing the outfits. The extra little outfits. Okay, so I don't see any more dolls right now, and there's a lot of Love Live stuff that I will relocate, but... Okay, hold on. I'll open this first, and then I'll turn the camera around and show you the dolls. So... This is a treasure. This was a find. So this is a store display from, I think, uh, Lawson. I don't know. It's It says something on it, but I, I was Googling the promotion that this is from because I'm telling you, the amount of information that I could see when this was like in the listing was that. So I had to read this Lopi thing and I searched Pikmin, Lopi, Pikmin Bloom. I could see that it was Pikmin Bloom to find the information because the seller sells a lot of like gaming store display stuff, but specifically this was just marked Pikmin display so i didn't have much to go off of but i'm so excited because pikmin is my all-time favorite like gaming franchise and yeah so getting a store display for it is extremely hard because nobody cares about the game they don't really make store displays and when they do they're very rare and the people who actually want to buy them are paying a lot of money for them and um so this was just something i stumbled upon i was just searching pikmin in general and mercari and this popped up so i paid 50 for this which to me is a steal it is from lawson yay my research was correct anyway so this is an ad for i think merchandise like i think this is for a lottery in ichiban kuji thing but i don't know um because i can't read japanese but look yeah okay it's an ad for merch so it's for the first anniversary of pikmin bloom which i am ashamed to admit i have not played a whole lot of it um because I always have to delete things off my phone to make space. Uh, but look, isn't this great? So it's not exactly a Pikmin game display. It's a Pikmin merch display for a phone game. But it looks really cool. It is absolutely enormous. And I'm so happy to have it. I am so, so grateful. And I think there are three Japanese store displays in here. <laughs> so buckle up. Get excited. Because I think that's why these boxes are so long. Or this box is so long. I think it's because there's a... I didn't think the store display was that big, but I suspect that that's why it's so long. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around so that you guys can see. All right, my friends, here are, oh, she's trying to fall. Here are the dolls so far. So we've got the blue corner over here. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm so happy to have them. And then um, Katori ended up being the star because are you kidding me with this outfit? It's so good. It's so cute. I wish that the dolls had come with these officially because the Mogito outfits are cute, but they're not my favorite. This is one of the best Muse outfits. I'm blanking on the name, which is embarrassing. I mean, I'm between two names right now, but I don't want to be wrong, so I'm not going to say. Um, and then these Harajuku Girls School dolls. They're really, really cool. I just really like the theming and like, look at the faces. They're so cute. And then this is the Minions Lika doll. Yes, I'm very, very happy with them. Yay! 
Okay, there, I'm pretty sure there's more dolls, uh, so buckle up. So, there's a lot of individual items in here, uh, but the this box, the majority is the Love Live stuff. Um, I don't know, I didn't buy a whole lot of Love Live stuff for the past couple of months and it caught up to me. I bought more. Anyway, so I have two doll things to share with you that I have painstakingly separated from the Love Live Avalanche, which I will I will show you. Anyway, so this is a real work of art. It's just another Harajuku Girl School doll. Um, but this is the blonde girl. I'm pretty sure there's just three characters. I might be mistaken. I might have left, like, pulled one out. I don't know. Like, pulled one out of the my shopping cart. Because I had a big shopping cart that had, like, 300 bucks worth of stuff at some point. Anyway, so here she is. She has these really cute butterfly tights. Okay. Anyway, there she is. And she's the one who came with the extra stuff. So you can see a lot of this stuff is from the fashion packs. I'm pretty sure I have the clothes somewhere too, but they probably got separated somehow. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll look at my listing photos and make sure. Okay, this, this is a real treat. I paid, I think actually $10 for this. Uh, the shipping, obviously, it took up a lot of space in this big box. So there's that. Uh, so you're probably roughly paying like 50 bucks for this, but this is great. So this is the Baskin Robbins Lika playset. I've known of this for a while, but when I unboxed the cake playset and I was just blown away by it, if you want to see that video, I'll link it in the description. That playset changed my life. Like it's glorious. So I had to see what the Baskin Robbins playset was all about. Um, so this is the like ice cream cafe situation here it doesn't come with any of these dolls which i wish it came with this one but i think that's i think that outfit is in here or something i don't know but it comes with a ridiculous amount of little scoops it comes with like all these little bowls and like different types of cones and i'm so excited to review this playset this is ridiculous um is there like a manifest yeah that's the manifest of the ice cream alone right there and you can see all the other stuff it's missing a couple of things that's why it was so cheap and i got it on mercari used but like i'm so excited also really cool that it came with the box that's my baskin robbins playset okay now um i will open this with you because let's see what's in here so this is the little this is our supplemental box because <laughs> I bought so much stuff that it didn't all fit in one box like I thought it would. But to be fair, the, um, it's because of the store displays. I'll, they're, they're still in there. I'll show them to you. They're pretty cool. I'm really excited. Okay. In here we have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> it's more Love Life stuff. Oh, okay. Um, so, this is all Love Life stuff, but there's another thing... <laughs> These are like Gasha machine figures and these, they're called Gasha portraits and I love them. I don't have them all because I like got kind of lazy towards the end and stopped buying them. But I found a lot of literally 50 of them and it was like a, I think I had a bid on it, but I paid like 50 bucks. I paid like a dollar each for these. So um, a lot of them are doubles, <laughs> like a lot of them, but they're all from Love Live and Tank Girls, I think. This is no, is this Idol Master? Oh, cool. I started watching Idol Master. Um, and then we also have Even <laughs> What is this? I don't even know what this one is. It's from 2004. Well, how did this get in with the Love Live stuff? I don't know. So, um, oh, look, there's um, I Kazuna, I think. There's yeah, so it's just a bunch of cash. Uh, <laughs> this is great. Um, yeah, so it took up a lot of space in this box which is hilarious. I, I can't believe how much of this box was Love Life stuff. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's move this box out of the way. Just to show you, I counted these because I made the customs for them. 52, I believe. If I recall correctly, it was in the 50s. It was in the 50s. Okay, over here. Okay, then we have our store displays. So there's two of them in here, I believe. Yes. Okay. So this is, I didn't know this was so big. So this one is, oh, I, I just, I found a couple of sellers that had some store displays and I was like, so I've had these on my watch list for a minute. And finally I was like, cause I was scared to buy them because of shipping. And I was like, you know what? It's time because what are the odds of not only finding Japanese store displays, but managing to ship them to, to America. And also they were 20 bucks. Like they were really cheap. Obviously, they contributed heavily to the shipping price. Although, 
She, okay, so when when I saw that they had separated my package into two things, I was like, why? Um, I didn't order that much stuff, but the Love Live, uh, the Love Live lots I bought, which by the way, uh, the reason there's so much stuff and I wasn't super aware of how much there was is because the way I like to buy stuff is I'll search for like junk lots. So it's basically just like thrift store type lots of stuff and you don't know what all is in there. It's like a big pile. So you can't actually see every item. So that's why I'm going to be very surprised while I'm like shifting through all that, sifting all that stuff sifting through all that stuff with you. I look closely at the pictures. If I see a couple of things that I want that are worth the price, I go for it. I paid maybe a hundred dollars total for all of the live stuff I'm going to show you. But anyway, this is really cool. This, okay. Oh, it's double-sided. Wow. Okay. This is a Jenny store display. So unfortunately it does have this tape, uh, which is kind of a shame, but this side has less of it and the tape is yellowed over time, but look at this. So this is a store display for Roma, okay, 2007 Jenny stuff. So this is Roma top and this is cool and berry. And it looks like it was like a banner, so it would hang from these probably. I thought it was a shelf topper at first. Um, oh, I'll show you the pretty side. This is the pretty side. This is cool. So it's pretty enormous, but yeah. So I love, I love store displays. You guys know that sort of, like I love to catalog this kind of stuff. I love to research this kind of stuff. And I especially love owning this kind of stuff. It makes me really happy. So um, I'm really excited that I've started finding Japanese store displays and it's so funny because these two I specifically found them searching for store display type stuff which is hard by the way because in America store display is the term that I use but there's so many terms that you have to search for and searching promotional in like in, in English on eBay is a way to find them but it takes forever because there's lots of promotional stuff but in Japan it's worse because the terms that you use are like not for sale or promotional stuff like that but there's in Japan they give away like so many things as like promotional stuff so like clear files buttons cups in Japan there's like promotional not not for sale uh, all sorts of stuff that yes store displays come up but it takes forever so these both were gilded from hours and hours of uh, sifting through lots and searching um and i've gotten a pretty good flow now so i managed to find two that i really wanted i found other ones that i'm tempted by but i don't want to go like to overhaul because as much as i like these um unless i super super love them and want them in my collection i'm not going to buy them and have them imported over here um but i will like you know take screenshots and make sure i can document them okay this one oh sorry this one is really really like i don't even know how this existed in japan i mean i have a, i have guesses but um i didn't know this existed so this is very old i think this is really really cool okay it looks pretty old but this is the coolest thing so this is a cardboard store display for the original like not original original but the early pull-up dolls look at this so it says pull-up family shop june planning and it's got all these cute pictures so we've got the family here we've got pull-up we've got Taeyang, Taeyang. i don't know how to pronounce his name sorry and we've got little pull-up isn't this cool so my guess is like they ship these out to like specialty doll stores in japan i have no idea i don't think the seller of this one had anything else interesting and i looked um so i have no idea how this was obtained but this is it's a little bit old so i'm i was so excited to find this because and i didn't find this searching for displays i found this just searching pull up and it came up and again this was legit like 20 dollars. and this is the kind of thing that just gets thrown away that's that's why store displays in general are so interesting to me um and so important to me to like get them especially older ones and newer ones too because they just get thrown away so um if you don't take good photos of them or literally own them they don't get preserved and that's a massive shame so this is really cool to find this is super super cool to find and i'm so happy to have it yay so i actually don't have a single one of these pull-ups i really like this one she's so good i like all of these actually these are all really cute um they're not like the earliest earliest pull-ups because they look a little strange like the earliest ones but i know this one this little pull-up is one of the earlier ones so anyway at least the pull-up that associated with that one super cool okay now we gotta turn the camera around we might find things that aren't love live but the rest of this stuff is love live uh, so if you are not here for that, thank you for watching. But if you are, let's get into it. I'm going to turn the camera around. All right, y'all. There's some wacky, zany, incredible things I would let our love life related in here. But also, I don't know what most of it is. So it's like a fun game. So let's just get started. So we have this. I think this is going to be a tapestry. So it sets in a tapestry. I don't keep all this stuff, by the way. I just keep the stuff that I really like. 
Um, but the best way to get stuff in general is like this because Love Live stuff, there's a lot of collectors. So a lot of it is expensive if you buy it separately. But if you buy it like this, you can get it super cheap. Uh, this is a phone case for iPhone 5S with Maki on it. This is not official. It's cute though. There's, there's some unofficial stuff, which some of the unofficial stuff actually is quite expensive. Like these wallets are pretty expensive sometimes. Um, so that was kind of cool to find. These aren't why I bought the listing. I'll, I'll show you when we get to the stuff that were why I bought the listing. Um, for example, this Liella stuff. I really want more Liella and Nijigasaki stuff in my collection. Um, so I'm probably not keeping these things, which I have a ton of friends like in real life that are interested in Love Live. So um, a lot of that stuff will be going to them. Um, but anyway, I really want more Ni Nijigasaki and Liela stuff, but there's not a lot of ways to get it for super cheap. So uh, when I see it in a lot, I am more inclined to buy the lot. This is a little ruby, like, I don't know, case. It's pretty cute. Sounds like there's something in there, so now I'm curious. Um, let's get in here. It's probably just the zipper that I'm hearing, but anyway, this is from some kind of like claw machine. You get it with that little ring. Just so funny, like they were like, Ugh, I don't want this. <laughs> Which is why you can get Love Life stuff for such good prices. Oh yeah, it was the zipper, but this is really cute. Little bag. I have a bunch of these for different characters. It's very, very cute. She's using a claw machine, which is kind of funny. Okay, then we have, I think this is a drawstring bag or something with Chiron, which is my favorite little subunit for Aqua. Yeah, I was trying to call them everything but Aqua. I was like, oh my God, what are they called? Um, okay. Oh, look how cute this one is. I've never seen one like this. So this is the birthday art, I believe. Um, it's Kiriko Sensation, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, is it this? They're very similar, the birthday art, and I think it is character sensation. That's my final answer, but please don't be mean if I'm wrong. I haven't been invested in Muse stuff for a long, long time. Anyway, yeah, that is the outfit. Look at it. That's Katori right there. Um, this is really cool, actually. So it's like bootleg go go live merch, I guess. Uh, but this is actually really nice. I'm not a big Nico person, but I have like a really close friend who really likes Nico. So I um, hope she likes that. And then we have this. I assume this is a poster? Yeah, it's a wall scroll, so it's probably just that art. Very, very cute. Uh, Aqua First Year's art. And then we have this, which, is this also Kiri Kiri Sensation? But it, I swear there's two outfits that are extremely similar, uh, but cool. Oh, Kun Kun Sensation. Crap, I was so close! No! Okay, anyway. This is a bunch of bromides. Bromides are extremely expensive if you buy a lot of bromides or if you buy, like, single bromides. Like, they'll charge ten dollars a pop for these it is unreal but if you find them in lots like this oh this oh my god this lot was really really cool um so bromides are always pretty expensive so i try to grab them because i really like them and i have a bunch of bromide albums that i'd like to fill um but these aren't why i bought the lot <laughs> i'm gonna keep saying that but anyway i've got one of the special ones bromides are just basically little pictures i don't know um i'm sure k-pop people know what i'm talking about <laughs> Um, but look, so I got the one with the special little stamp signature, and Mari's my favorite character. Are these two different special variants? Because, look, this one has that, and this one doesn't. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this one already, but not with the signature, so that's pretty exciting. And then these are little birthday things for Yo. I bought this slot from somebody who seemed to be really into Yo, but they had a lot of cool stuff for others. Uh, this is really cool. So this is from a magazine. And then we have, look, so these are the, basically the voice actors. Love Live is like a, it, if you're not already familiar, it like kills you on all fronts. So there's concerts that are like live concerts. There's also like live streams and stuff with the voice actors for the characters that are sometimes like kind of in character, but they only really do that as a joke most of the time. They, there's like a whole thing just for them. So anyway, um, we've got shuka because they were specifically really into her and yo so i got a bunch of really cool stuff of there's something like mind-blowing in here that i'm really excited about for for that one and then there's aqua again and the seiyu merch specifically is ludicrously expensive and these are aqua club exclusive too so you had to be part of the little fan club is that what these are from too no i don't know what the shuka ones are from and then another one so cute these might be from some kind of magazine maybe because it doesn't say like one of the love live things i don't know but aren't these cute? These are so cute. I have a few pieces of merch for the Seiyus, but nowhere near this much. Oh, Chiron. Ah! Okay. And then we have, I don't know. Oh, so this says happy party train tour. Oh, I think this was just a thing for holding your bromides. Oh, it's got the little signatures. This one's a postcard. And then we have, I actually have some stuff from this photo shoot, but these are different than mine. Mine are super shiny. So, oh my gosh. 
Yay. Oh, cute. So these might have been for sale at the Happy Party Train Tour or something. Like, I don't know. I have a lot of tour merch, by the way. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I have this one, but different. Like, it's on a picture paper, but these are postcards. So maybe mine are bromides and these are postcards. I don't know. Aquarium outfit. Oh, I have this one, too, on bromide paper. I don't know. And then I'm pretty sure I have that one. Um, but cute. I love Sayu stuff. I'm really excited about that. And then... I was saying, like, ugh, they do all these tactics to get you. It works on me. Oh, it works. Uh, this is really cute. Familiar members card for Guilty Kiss. I have no idea what this means, um, but it's going in my wallet. I already have some. I have a Hanamaru one in my wallet. <laughs> so that one's cool. But my Hanamaru one's fake, so. Anyway, so this is from Pieces of Aqua, which is this really cool, co like, I don't know if it's a collab, but it was, like, these were exclusive to something. I don't know. I did some research, but these are, like, this really beautiful artwork. So there's Hanamaru, little bookmark super super cute i was really excited when i saw pieces of aqua merch because it's very hard to find actually um and it was just in this lot with the with all the say stuff there's really really cool stuff so we'll get there and then ruby oh my god cute ah i wonder if there was yo too and they kept it who knows but they some of the best merch was in the slot like that you could possibly get so who knows? and then we have see this is tour merch um tour merch is pretty expensive if you try to buy it separately but you can find it in lots all the time like i had to stop myself but there was a lot of those pen blades like the key light things pen lights i don't know they have like 50 different words for them um and it was super cheap and it was a bunch of them but i stopped myself uh there's a specific piece of tour merch i'm really looking for that's super obscure so i'm gonna have to buy it and um then i'll start buying pen lights um, sailing to the sunshine tour this is like a water bottle holder i think it might actually be for holding your pen lights i'm not sure but i keep all my tour merch I really like that kind of stuff i would love to go to one of their concerts someday but it's pretty hard to go they make it extremely difficult if you're not buying the cds actively in japanese specifically okay so this stuff is just random small stuff so we have katori stamp i think it's missing the stamp part though right like that's I think the stamp goes here, but it's, I have a bunch of these stamps. They're really cute. This big button with the Muse first years on it. We've got probably unofficial buttons, but they're pretty cute. Unofficial stuff is pretty cool sometimes. Like, oh, I hope there's the full group because these are actually really cute. Oh, it's the mermaids. This is the mermaid set, which I love. This is an acrylic stand. Wonderful Rush Ellie. This is, I think I have this one, this little pillow thing. <gasps> Ooh, a Nozomi. What is this? I love that her name is spelled wrong. Um, I mean, that's not the official English spelling. Maybe maybe other people do it. I don't know. Because um, the, the Y is unusual. You don't want to see that. What is this? I don't know what this is. Um, I was hoping it was a wallet. I got excited. Because mine is Omi Wallet. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love the card art. That's why the bootleg merch is cool. Because it actually will include the card art. And usually, they don't actually include it on merch for some reason. Which is really annoying. And, oh, another Nozomi thing. Nozomi's my favorite in Muse. This is a little zipper, like, coin purse. Cute. And, again, bootleg. It's got the card art on it. There's another Liella merch, which I love. I just don't like these little pillow things. They're cute, but I I don't need a hundred of them like I always end up with. <laughs> and then we have a little Ruby cleaner strap. I hate these things. I I mean, this one probably doesn't even have... They're supposed to be for cleaning your phone screen. Like, they usually have stuff on them. But these ones don't. So I don't even know what the purpose of these are. I don't like them. Um, and then we have these buttons. These are for the movie. These are super common. I always end up with them. Um, and then we have... I think it is a full Muse set. Sweet! These are so cute. We got Nozomi. And they're in their little... Oh, shoot. We have two of Rin. No, does that mean we're missing somebody? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we have nine of them, but I'm missing someone so i have two rins hold on we got the third years we got the second year okay so we're missing two characters we're missing honoka and we're missing maki oh there's maki okay please honoka just be in here because a lot of this stuff spilled potentially so um there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom of the box that seems to have come out of this bag so hopefully oh that's not even the mermaid set these are cute some probably sold at some kind of fan gathering which is really cool because um, you wouldn't be able to end up with those otherwise. Okay, I was really hoping this was what this was, but I didn't want to get my hopes up when I bought the lot. Yes! Okay, so I, I had seen this in the lot photo. This is a, like, squishy Nozomi. I've had one of these before, um, but I specifically want Nozomi from this one, so I'm really excited. Um, she is a little bit stained, which probably should have clued me in that this was her, but it's a little squishy, like, foam Nozomi. And this is cool, actually, because it's from before they finalized the outfit. For Muse, so this is not her school uniform. Um, but yeah, look at this. I love this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sweet. These are actually pretty hard to find, so I am very happy to have this. 
cool thank goodness this person was an Izomi fan this is the hello kitty collab i think i'm actually not 100 percent sure i know this is supposed to be an Izomi. um it doesn't say sanrio on it actually what is this i don't know i don't even know um it's really soft Nozomi, love it whatever it is i have a Nozomi display specifically so and there's more of these for over the rainbow i have too many of those and then we have these are most likely bootleg little triangular charms pretty cute though we have these things more straps i do have all of these ones already so yeah it's hard for me to find aqua straps that i don't already have because i have so many and then these are super cute little charms of hanamaru and ruby here i really like those and then we have kanan button hanamaru here i love when people collect the full sets because then when i buy their stuff i end up with a lot of full sets okay so this is monstrous i was wondering what these were when i saw them but i didn't want to like do too much research on stuff so these are from one of the ichiban Fuji, which is like a lottery thing and these are <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna have to speed this up a little because this is a lot uh these are little plates so I'm not gonna open each one to see what each character is but let's see what this one is um i probably have one of each ah cuckoo that's my favorite good one to open okay yeah i mean if this is does this have all nine or is this the five this is five so yeah cuckoo's my favorite out of the five all right y'all i told you i would prove it so i'm gonna show you each lot so this was the most expensive one at about 90 dollars because of these uh but there's a lot of really cool stuff so that's where this stuff came from yeah and then this is the biggest lot these you can regularly get for extremely cheap so i only bid against two other people or maybe one person and i just wanted on the third bid but this was twenty dollars and i mean this was so much stuff i didn't even show you all the stuff for this one because it was just too much to show uh but yeah won that very easily and by the way i pay that much and then you have to pay the tax if it's there that's because this is a retail store of some sort because this one doesn't have the tax um so that adds up to about twenty dollars and then there's a three dollar fee for buying stuff on Zen market so that's another three dollars and then if there's not free shipping so this one didn't you also have to pay for shipping it's normally like five to ten dollars this was probably actually a lot but um it's negligible i never really notice it and then which that gets charged to you later you have like a little balance um anyway then there's this one, which nobody bid against me. So the way I got this one, actually, I didn't feel like staying up to bid on it because a lot of Zen Market, not Zen Market, um, a lot of Yahoo Japan stuff ends early. These were all Yahoo Japan auctions, by the way. Um, this was the one with the rear view mirror. As you can see, I was like, I know what you are. Um, this one was really cool, actually. And I didn't feel like staying up, but I wanted it. So I put in a sniper bid. And this is something really cool that Zen Market has. So they will bid for you. So this is something random for my watch list. So this is just a really cute doll that I kind of am interested in. Um, and you can place a bid. And then say, like this ends in like four hours and I just want to go to bed and I don't want to stay up or wake up again, I can set, and this is just if I think I'm going to win, I can set like, I want to pay that much money for it. And it tells you like, this is how much you currently have. So I don't have a whole lot right now because I just paid for shipping. And then it also tells you like the service fee is $3. It's a flat service fee on everything. Um, and it tells you how it works. And they'll basically do a max bid up to that for you, which is really, really handy because a lot of Japanese auctions end really late. So this is super cool. So don't be an idiot like I have been before and press normal bid instead because that messes up your whole operation but sometimes you can win stuff like this uh without even trying so if you're kind of interested in something but you don't feel like staying up this is a really good option um but yeah that's a zen market i love you zen market then Mwah. we have okay this is yes it's a, i'm pretty sure this is unofficial but it's a card mat but it's super long i use these as mouse pads and it's nozomi who's my favorite oh wait if we want to protect our beloved school we need to do what we need to what we can, we need to do what we can. We need to become idols. Now, their school idol project begins to make that dream come true. Make their dreams come true. Make our dreams come true. I love this. Okay. And then we have, oh yeah, I love that card. Okay. This is the all-stars like card set, but like these are pretty hard to find. These like this piece of merch, but this is great because I love Mari. Um, then we have this towel with booby on it. We have oh cute oh yes okay one of i bought one of the lots and it came with a bunch of these from like early in love live history where they were doing these like when there was one million users two million users three million it's really cool so there's a bunch of those in here i'm really excited so that was one of the reasons i bought a lot actually oh and this nozomi tojo happy new year 2016 little poster so cute and i love the mermaid card art set so that's awesome and then i guess this is a little thing to protect your your goods and then we have a little postcard very cute 
little awaken the power UFO catcher thing. Uh, <laughs> is this a canvas? What is this? I don't know. I've um, just got Rico on it. This, we got some Mr. Addis, but we're moving on. I have this actually. Um, Honoka, or no, that's Chico. Oh my god. Uh, Hanamaru. This really cute, I love that card. Really cute card. Um, that's another wall scroll of some sort for Daya. Awaken the Power of Mari. Love that. That's actually going on my main purse. Cute. Chica. And no, I'm curious now. What are these? Oh, whoa. These have been on my wish list forever, but they're hard to find. Okay, so. These are, oh my gosh, yay, angelic angel acrylic stands. Music acrylic stands are pretty hard to find because they didn't make a whole lot, um, and I would love to have more acrylic stands, so that's awesome, actually. Okay, now let's get more stuff. We've got piles of it, so I have no shortage of things to go over here. Okay. Okay, this was actually, this was a separate lot. That's what that is. Um, this was, I think, $15 or something. But Mia is my favorite character. I love her so much, and I want more merch of her because I'm building a display for her right now. So, and I have, like, no merch, so I bought this specifically because it comes with a bunch. So some of these can go on display. Some of them can go in, like, a little Eda bag or something because I actually have an empty Eda bag that I haven't filled yet. But anyway, came with a bunch of Mia merch, which was very, very cute. And then this one is, like, look. So I have, oh, <gasps> I didn't know it was shiny! Ah, oh, this little postcard. Or is this a bromide? This is a bromide. Oh my god, I love this, I love this, I love this. And again, it's hard to find Nijikazaki merch. I can never find Mia specifically, so I was really excited about this lot. And I got the summer Kari. And then I have these two Shikishis. Of course, she has a burger. <laughs> and then we have, I think these are meant to be coasters. They specifically, these are actually pretty hard to get certain characters of sometimes. And then in here we have something. Oh, cute! Yeah, had to get, it was a Mia lot. Okay, this was the reason I bought one of the lots. Um, the lot has a lot of really cool stuff in it, but this was the big reason. This, these are so expensive if you buy them separately. I couldn't believe this lot didn't go more expensive because these are like the pins that you can only get at the tours for like every tour, like even the small ones. So like, oh, I'm so hyped about these because I only have a few of these so far that I just get randomly in lots, but this is like a giant pile. So yay. <laughs> So I've got oops, just, these two are like, eh, but cute. I still put them on my pin board. And then we have the Unit Live Adventure 2020 Perfect World Chiron Azalea Guilty Kit. Well, it's the unit, so yeah. Um, then we have Happy Party Train Saitama. Specifically, I don't think I have that specific one for Happy Party Train. Oh, this is for the movie. I guess if you went to the movie, you would get that. Um, Sailing to the Sunshine, Tokyo, Wonderful Stories, Fukuoka. Um, Go Go Live 2018. I assume there's a pin in there. Next Sparkling. Hakodate Unit Carnival. This was cool because it's for Saints now. Um, Numazu Fan Meeting. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could go to one of those. And then a Numazu Fan Meeting again for 2018. And this one doesn't have a year, actually. But yeah. Awesome. Really excited about all that. And then, yeah, so that was the reason I bought one of the lots, actually. Um, and then in here we have more stuff. So... Ooh, I think some of the best stuff is in here, actually. Yep. Okay, so this stuff is from the lot of the person who really liked Yo. Whee! Okay, so this, I think, lights up. I don't know. Um, cool. This, These are, like, really cool, actually. So these are so... Not even, like, just that they're rare, but you can't even find them for sale. So I was so excited to see this. Um, they're so expensive. These are acrylic stands of the Seiyus, and you can only get these from the club, it looks like. Yeah, I was super, super excited to find these. And, of course, they're both of Shuka, which I love all the Seiyus, so I'm really excited. So, so excited. And then this, too. These these are acrylic stands that aren't for, like, main sets that they sell more common. I don't know how to describe it. Are super expensive, usually. Very, very cute. I think this is for the manhole covers that they did. I don't 100% recall. Cute. Big. Really big. Those. This. This. Let's go in here. And we're just opening stuff. We are opening stuff. I can't believe how much. I mean, I, I knew what I was getting into. I knew all the stuff that I bought, but wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. This is a little binder. I actually have the large version of this. So there was a picture of this separately. So I just assumed that was the same thing. So that's actually hilarious. This is for the Thanksgiving festival. There's another one for Wonderful Stories. This is probably just a yo, like, bandana or something. This is called, like, a... 
display pop like I think that's actually what this is called I don't remember I was gonna buy these at some point the brand new box of them but I didn't and they're actually kind of hard to find these are the little cards that the club sends out for Valentine's Day and Christmas 2019 then we have cool little fan with yo on it and then what are these what are these more wallets yes and they're always unofficial it's so funny <laughs> get out of there get out of there okay so we have a chico one this is super cute oh it's a phone case actually it's one of those ones you stick your phone to with the that's cool and then we have this hanamaru one cute very very cute and then we have these i didn't realize this was this big so this is awesome these are post these are merch for miracle live uh which is the new phone game and I wanted to get on top of things and grab them. So this is a little poster advertising it. I think it might be a store display of some kind, but it's not like a rare one or anything. Or maybe it will be, I don't know. But there were a bunch of listings with this in it. Uh, but I bought these immediately. Like as soon as that game came out, I was like, wait, there's probably merch. And I grabbed them. So there is like exclusive merch for each of the initial character cards, but um, it's a little expensive for Mia, who's the one I wanted because she's the girl I picked. Um, so yeah, so this is, it is a store display. This is advertising the little card game, but also advertising the new phone game, Miracle Live 2. Or, uh, what is it called? Miracle Live is, anyway, whatever. I was really excited. School Idol Festival 2, Miracle Live. I should know that, because they say it every time you open the app. Um, and I actually ranked number 69 in the world. That was actually not on purpose. Um, I was trying to get top 100, and I fell asleep, and I got number 69. But anyway, um, of the Mia Taylor fans in the last event, so that was fun. Um, but anyway, got my merch. <laughs> and then we have... Okay, I'm going to get more stuff out. I'll be right back. Three of you that I know are Love Live fans are probably so excited for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, these are water bottles that I think they were from Akuji, but I don't know. But I have a few of these already. I already have I for sure, but there's Kanata. Um, and then I have this is something I bought separately because I saw that this had come out last year, like at some point, and I wanted it so bad, uh, but I forgot to order it. And then I found it for retail, so I bought it. So this was completely separate. This was its own thing. Um, but this is like the best. It's a little strap set so the straps are just the little keychains that have rubber so that's what a strap is um but they're the nijigasaki girlies so i got the full set and they're all wearing these cat hoodies had to have them had to have them i'm really excited about that um, and then we have a bunch of plushies if you're importing plushies from japan be careful because sometimes there can be customs issues with them but as long as it's a plushie like th these i know are necessary so i know all the information if customs stops them which i've never had that happen before but if it does i know the materials are made out of and stuff i have pictures of the tags of the ones i already own so it's fine um but anyway i don't already have this one so this is cool and then i have rico who i don't already have and then this one these are a separate plushie set but they're very cute and then this is a very rare plushie i was really excited she was in here um this is the cheer chica so i don't know where these were sold or what but these are pretty expensive online so that was a cool find here you go brett and then we have score this is a omoyo hanamaru and then Oh, Hannah Maru again. And then these are cups, which are pretty cool, so I'll show you. <laughs> um, I don't remember which one's which. Yeah, these are big. Be careful buying mugs and cups and stuff. Zen Market has never delivered one to me broken, which is actually pretty impressive because I bought a lot of them. Um, like, a lot, a lot. Like, actually, probably, like, 50-plus cups because they there was a Kuji a while back that had cups, and they were very common. But anyway, um, it's because they're pretty heavy, so they can be expensive. Oh, this is from the Unicorn Carnival. Cool. Some kind of emotional thing. I love that. That's awesome. Okay, it's hard to find St. Snow merch because, I mean, they don't do as much. They're not the main group, but so it's cool to find it. This is some weird ornament for Yo. I don't know. Um, I really wanted this figure. This is a Mermaid Con on figure. Really excited about that one. Um, this was part of the reason that I bought the lot that I'm talking about now, which is different from, I, I think it's different from this lot. Um, but I love these. There's a really cute Mari one too. And then we have, this is a... Um, how funny. It's one of those, oh, Gasha figures, Gasha portraits. So there's a Hanamaru one. So potentially this is different from the ones that I have in that other lot, but I'm not holding my breath. It's probably the same, um, but it's fine. It was extra. This is amazing. I'm switching my mouse. I don't care how bad of a mouse this is. This is my new mouse. So this is my Katori mouse. That is amazing. Um, that's one of those cleaner straps. I hate those. This is a full set of those buttons on a cute little backing of some sort, because I guess you could buy them all at once. 
but I have so much over the rainbow merch. I'm tired of over the rainbow merch. And then in here we have, this is a bunch of coasters. I'll like kind of show this. I'm not going to go into detail, but the coasters are usually from like the collab cafes they do and stuff. So they are pretty hard to find because you have to go sit down and like order and like get your food and everything to get the coasters. So um, this person went a lot, which same, I would have too. So just want to quickly go through them. They're made out of a nice material, at least. They were actually using some of these, I think. <laughs> ah, Mari! Very, very cute. <laughs> so funny. Um, there's some really cool coasters, actually, that I'd love to have. That's why I was so excited about that Mia one. I don't know if the Mia one... Yeah, you can see that one. Um, I don't know if the Mia one was actually exclusive to something or what, but it's cool anyway. Uh, this is... I always thought these were shikishis when I saw them online, but this feels weird. I have no idea what this is. And then this is also, this is a gamer's thing. So probably either you go into the store and get it or it's a store um, or it came with something or I don't know. Um, then we have, these are amazing. I already have one of these, but I'm, oh no, are these different? Yeah, no, I have these. Um, there's, they're sorted into your group. So I actually might not have these two I'll have to double check because I don't remember what year mine is. I'm pretty sure mine were the third years, but it would be awesome if it was the second years because here I have the first years and the third years. I always just kind of assumed that they were all the same because I've had two of the same one in the past. So um, they're just these absolutely monstrous um, little bank thing. Okay, I'm not opening it, but anyway, they're little banks, which is very, very cool. And I guess there's also, or that's a picture of what the wrap is. And it's for Angelic Angel. Very cool. Okay. And then we have towel. This. Oh, that's the stickers. I think this is stickers. Yes. Okay. This is new in the packaging. That's actually really cool. I already have that set of stickers. Sweet. Okay. I didn't know I came in packaging like that. So I know what to look out for it. This is awesome. This is a tumbler. I have a bunch of these, but I only keep the ones with the art that I like, but they often use the artwork from the game, which I always love. And then we've got these little things, which are like little figures. Um, this is a big old, oh, sweet, it's one of those crazy picnic blankets. I already have one of these, but love to have another one. Oh, 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 we got something that's not love life. <laughs> Stop the presses, everyone. This is Pikmin stuff. I'm so excited about this. So these are pretty expensive usually, but I managed to get them for pretty cheap, but you're going to laugh. Uh, I think I paid like 20 bucks, maybe 15. It was actually really affordable the way I got them, but oh, this is, yeah. Oh, they're way smaller than I thought they were. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're so cute. These are Pikmin magnets from Pikmin 1, so all the way back in like 2001, 2002 era. Um, and I found these on Mercari in the US for very expensive ones and I almost bought them because I just love Pikmin, it's my favorite thing, like I told you guys. Um, but anyway, this one's so cute, it says nice to meet you and it's got a little 3D Olimar, it's awesome. And then this little one, and these, the idea is that they like link up and it makes like a full scene. Um, I'm missing a lot of them, so you can see. That's, I love Let's Go Pikmin. Oh, is this like the special one? Anyway, this is spectacular. I love that it comes with this too. I'm so excited about this. These are going, I don't know if they're going to go in my fridge or with my Pikmin collection, but I love that. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, this, this is a pocket watch with the second years. I actually have one of these pocket watches that I bought while I was in New York. So I'm going to have to see it. Oh my God, are there two? Third years. Also do not buy watches and clocks and stuff. I got lucky that customs didn't care because sometimes um customs will stop you and like watches are a thing because there's a lot of like you know rolexes and stuff but i <laughs> they're love love pocket watches like but be careful don't buy clocks and watches they can cause problems um there's another one of those i thought these were related to the manhole covers but i don't know hey guys remember. welcome to the small box it's mostly love love stuff um so this was a real treat it's so funny when i find these though because this was a lot of blu-rays and um, I don't know, in Japan, Blu-rays are really expensive for some reason, so it's actually even hard to find them used for good prices. This is kind of weird, though, because these are a Blu-ray set, but look, I've got one, two, four, five, six, seven, so I'm missing one. I don't know. Oh, there's that outfit again, the Cube Cube Sensation outfit. Well, now I won't ever forget what it was called again. I'm laughing because earlier I was like, I know what it's called, I just don't want to be wrong, and then I was wrong anyway, so. Anyway. <laughs> Here is number seven. Oh, did they come with, like, a bonus thing? Yeah, I have no idea. I just bought it because the Blu-rays are really hard to find, and I like them. Um, there's Haneo, and they have exclusive art. I love the Nozomi art in particular. Um, oh, cool. That's like a Halloween outfit. I have no idea. Oh, they're double-sided too. But they have these exclusive little thingies. I don't know what that is. Maybe these were sold separately. Maybe this isn't the box set, and that's why there's one missing. No idea. Still very cool. And then 
I love this type of merch. It's so hard to find it because what do you search? Uh, love Love Notebook is not what you search generally because it'll be expensive if you search it separately. I love this constellation set. And there's Ellie, which I have a specific display for Ellie and the Zomi, so it's always good to find Ellie stuff. There's two of each. That means I can actually use some, which is so cool. Okay. Whoa. There's like a million treat bags for Muse. This is cool. I'll have a party. That's how we give away stuff at my party. Okay. And then I have a dance group that we do like covers of Love Love music. So that's why I'm like, it's perfect. When I get all this extra stuff, now I'm not like burdened by it. I have people who want it. Um, there's Ellie. And then, what? These are wall stickers. What the heck? Okay. These are bookmarks, whatever. And this is a giant, is this their file? Oh no, it's a, oh, it's a notebook. Ooh, I love that. Um, this, oh my god, three Ellie Wall stickers. Did this person have a store or something? Whoa. And then we have more little journals. I love these. I love these. I love these. I have a few of these already, but I don't have any Daya ones for sure. Um, one of my friends I happen to know loves Daya specifically, so score. And then these are like posters that are like clear file material. I don't know. Just clear, transparent material. What is that? What is, what is... I, the I and Seer, sorry, what is it? I have no idea. If you don't, if you know what this means, well, let me know. But it's Ellie, so I want it. And then we have this really cute little pack of bookmarks. That's really cute. Um, oh, another one. This person was like, I need multiple of everything. Um, I have a little more. Oh my gosh, <gasps> sweet. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite dye art, actually. I love the sports set because of that. Oh, and then we have this. I actually have Chica's one of these. These are stickers, like big stickers. I don't use them as stickers, but I collect them. Um, and then we have a little bandana with the third years. Really cute. Oh no, sorry, that's Azalea. Ah, uh, Hannah Mari looked like Mari there, my bad. Um, and then we have a Mari birthday postcard and a Yo birthday postcard. Oh, and a Daya and a Ruby. Oh my gosh. And then, oh, sweet, an All-Stars one. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, before Mia existed. And then Maki, Angelic Angel screenshot one. And then another little notebook of Happy Maker Ellie and little Chibi, very cute. And then we have, I think this is a sticker. I think this is also a sticker. I, I never know what these are. I have these out of out of the container though. Um, Really cute, oh my God. Yay, more bromides. I have the, like, bromide binders. I have a bunch of them. And didn't we just get another one earlier? So, or we got another two earlier, I think. So, yeah, I've got space for these bromides, which is exciting. Because I want to fill the little... These are stickers or something? I'm never sure what these are. Um, like, what the intention for them is. And then we have these... I think these are stickers as well. Awaken the Power postcard. I love that these are so shiny. And it's the third years. And then we have this postcard and this postcard. So, like, Aqua specifically, like, there's so many people with that merch. And it's so, um, there's, oh, Hello Kitty. There's so much interesting stuff. Okay, this is the most unhinged thing, I think, in here, other than the Katori mouse. So, this, I know of because I'll see it for sale sometimes. So, this was in that lot of all that random paper stuff that I showed you, like, the notebooks and stuff. Which, I wanted the notebooks and stuff. And then I was scrolling, and this was in one of the last pictures. It's the only thing that wasn't, like, a flat thing. This, oh my god, it's the most hilarious thing. I'm so excited about it. I want it installed in my car. This is a rear view mirror for your car. Um, I don't know if it can actually be installed in my car, but I just, it's so funny. It's a rear view mirror with your favorite school idol, Yo Watanabe, on it. I love this. I love this. So I have no idea how this works, like how you would put it in your car. But yeah, so if you ever see one of these little white boxes and a lot of love people... Uh, it's a rear view mirror for your car or maybe it's not for a car. I mean it is right I don't know it's just hilarious I don't know why they made love live rear view mirrors but I had to have it um, and then we have this gasha situation what should I do with these like should I I mean I'm gonna keep a lot of them but should I open them on video like what it, it, is it like shorts like I don't know I'm not making any promises <gasps> is this a shooter <gasps> yo these are super expensive what the heck these are little minifigures. They're usually like $30 each, so I'm kind of in shock. There's another one. What series are these for? I think these are for Girls and Panzer, but I'm not sure. Oh my god, that's actually so cool. Um, that is pretty cool. Anyway, these are, um, they're little, like, minifigures that you have to build. And they, they're called shooters because they come with water guns. Although these look like those aren't water guns. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. 
this is so exciting yeah so i don't know how to address these we're not gonna open them all right now um but pretty cool this idol master again maybe this can be my prompt to actually watch idol master because i have a bunch of merch now anyway thank you guys for watching we got a lot of stuff let me turn the camera on hold on oh sorry you guys i was just observing myself in my new love live rearview mirror anyway um <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm really excited about all my new stuff. I really, really love Zen Market. It just provides me these opportunities to get things that I would not be able to get otherwise, like, at all. And, like, being able to get a hold of stuff like this in America is so, so cool, and I love it so much. So the fact that Zen Market, um, like, partners with me in some capacity is just so exciting to me. I truly, truly love them a lot. Like, I think they are the best proxy by far, and I don't even just mean in Japan. I mean, in general, every single one that I've dealt with, Zen Market has far surpassed my expectations based on the other ones. And Zen Market was one of the first ones that I ever found. So I just got really lucky. Um, and I've used like six other proxies for various other countries, including Japan. So um, I love Zen Market. I love finding all this really cool stuff and I will put my search terms in the description if any of you guys want to use them. Um, and all of all of this love life stuff again I showed you the pictures of everything like the listings that I bought them from and how much I paid um which I don't 100% recall exactly how much I paid for all of them but it was like 100 150 so just a really good deal for all of this really cool stuff and it's all stuff that I'm really excited about putting in my collection and then the stuff that I'm not going to be putting in my collection I know that my friends will really enjoy it because I have a bunch of friends who are specifically into love life and then people online too so really excited and I got some really fun stuff and other things that I've been looking for for a really long time so it is always a treat and I am super, super excited about my new dolls and also these really like wacky items I got for reviews like <laughs> that. Um, super, super fun. Just, just really, really exciting. I'm always excited. I don't look at Zen Market every single day. I do if I'm looking for like certain things but I haven't been lately I look like maybe once a week maybe once every two weeks um and I have certain search terms that I just go and I scroll and I find neat stuff and I can't spend more than an hour on there without finding something where I'm like where have you been all my life like that slow bro Christmas thing like I wasn't even searching for that it just happened to be marked doll for some reason I think I actually searched toy or something because I was looking for very specific stuff from around the 90s um and I was testing new search terms. That search term is not super great, actually, um, for dolls. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I would love to know if you guys have found anything special. And yeah, if you guys have used Zen Market at all, um, do you ever find any interesting stuff? Like, what's your what's your best find? Honestly, I think one of my best finds ever, or, or three of my best finds ever, all these store displays that I just got. Um, this is probably objectively the most, like, exciting find but my favorite is obviously the pikmin tapestry that's just really out of this world for me i'm so so excited about that like yes i am so excited for pikmin 4 to come out like there's gonna be so much merchandise there's gonna be store displays and i'm going to be the most obnoxious customer in the world at every walmart within two hours of me begging for those store displays so and and other stores whoever has store displays i'm going to bother you um <laughs> But yeah, this this was really exciting and yeah, hopefully like happy hunting. Hope you guys find some cool stuff and stay tuned for next month when I do this all over again. <laughs> okay, for all this time guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!